So, um, in our last problem, uh, we used these same uh, pictures to determine which one of these solutions that are composed of the um, weak acid and the salt of its conjugate base, so this would be like the sodium salt of its conjugate base, um, would be the most percent dissociated. Okay, this time we're going to figure out which one of these solutions would have the highest pH. Okay. Um, so, how do we do that? Well, if we remember Le Chatelier's principle, we remember if we add something on this side of the reaction, it'll push the reaction that way. If we add something on this side of the reaction, it'll push the reaction this way. Okay, so in this first solution, this is just the starting point of this, the, what we've added to the solution, right? So, in this first solution, we've only added the weak acid. We haven't added any of its salt of its conjugate base. So, in fact, what's happening in this first solution is we don't have any of this part of the reaction going on, right? So, this is going to be all dissociated, and when it gets dissociated, of course, you're going to make a bunch of H3O+. Plus. That's going to lower the pH, okay? So, if we're looking for the highest pH is what I think I said, this would probably have the lowest pH right there. Mm -hmm. okay. So, um, the common ion effect comes in, like what we were saying, when we add some of the sodium salt of the conjugate base. So here we've added some of that salt, and so when we add that to the solution, what's going to happen? It's going to push the reaction back this way. So when we do that, of course, we deprotonate H3O+, and therefore we don't have that H3O+, to lower the pH anymore, okay? So the relative amounts is what we're looking for in these two solutions here. So what we can see here is if we count one, two, three, so this is, has like a three to one, two, three, five ratio. Okay, so 3 to 5 ratio, so this one is going to have more suppression of that H3O plus formation than this one, mm -hmm. okay? So this one is going to have the highest pH, this one's going to have the middle pH, and that one's going to have the lowest pH. So, here, let's just do it this way, instead of saying 3, we'll say low, lowest, highest. Okay. Like that. Okay. Any questions on this one? No. Okay.